Today I would like to talk about breath work, uh, more specifically the Wim Hof method. The Wim Hof method is something that I use on a regular basis to uh, get deeper into meditation. Uh, it really helps uh, me get into a meditative state and uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the Wim Hof method if you haven't uh, learned how to do it. I uh, highly encourage looking up Wim Hof on uh, YouTube and uh, sorry I had a bug on me and um, uh, learning how to do it and practicing it on a daily basis. Um, I'm telling you your life will improve in many different ways. Um, I have been doing it for several years and it just it it really gets me into the zone uh, for my meditations and it also uh, puts me it sets the tone for the rest of the day it kind of sets the mood for me so if it's done in the morning um, kind of it kind of puts you at a higher vibration um, and you'll notice that too when you start doing these uh, breathwork sessions on a regular consistent basis you will see improvements in your overall mood as well as uh, your physical fitness and your ability to deal with situations that are uncomfortable. Uncomfortable situations like cold water exposure or cold weather exposure which is one of the things that Wim Hof teaches and um, that further increases your willpower which also bleeds into other aspects of your life uh, such as um, you know, trying to lose weight, trying to eat the right things, uh, making the right decisions just throughout the day. Uh, you always are facing choices. Um, whether you're aware of it or not, you're always facing choices. So um, this just gets you in alignment with making better choices. Um, it just, it all kind of falls into place once you start developing a spiritual routine, especially in the morning uh, and at night before you go to sleep. Those are, those are the two most important times. It should be throughout, throughout the day, but um, you should really take at least 15 to 20 or 30 minutes even every morning just to uh, just to set the tone for the rest of the day and get yourself into a meditative state that you can carry with you throughout the rest of the day. It increases your vibration and um, you'll notice it especially when it's done on a consistent basis at the same time every day. Um, you'll start to notice improvements in your vibration. You can actually hear ringing in your ears which is a sign that your vibration is higher so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate for you how to do the Wim Hof method um, it is uh, a certain number of breaths followed by a period of uh, you let all the air out and then you just um, find a meditative state and just stay there for as long as possible without breathing and then you take an in-breath, and then you start the process all over again. So it's um, diaphragmatic breathing. You, you start with your diaphragm. You breathe in through your nose. You get, it goes down into your diaphragm like this, and then up into your chest, and then out your mouth. It's done in rapid succession. Uh, it's not quite hyperventilating, although some could, it, it could technically qualify as hyperventilating, hyperventilating, but it's not, it's a controlled breathing. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys now. Um, like I said, it's in through your nose, start with your stomach, and then up into your, uh, inflate all the way up into your chest and get a, a full breath and then once you get to the uh, top part of the portion of the breath when you let it out um, just try to relax you know every time you every time you exhale relax as much as possible um, there is going to be some tension uh, during the end portion of the breath but that's to be expected uh, just let it go there's there's not much you can do about it um, but try as as best as possible to relax your whole entire body while you're breathing and that really helps you get a full deep uh, proper breath so um, here we go I'm gonna go ahead and uh, demonstrate this for you now I like to um, I like to kind of stretch a little bit just to get myself kind of loosened up in the zone and uh, maybe take a drink of water 
I like to take a drink of water just to um, moisten my, my airway. And do some just light neck movements just to get everything all nice and relaxed and comfortable. Settle into your seat and start the breath. So as you can see, when I did, when I was in the breathing portion, I was, when I got to the end of the breathing portion, I took my last breath, fully inhaled as much as I could to fit into my lungs, and then just kind of relax the air out. Don't necessarily exhale, just relax the air out. That's the best way I can describe it. And then once you get to the bottom, um, then you just, Try to find and try to be as still as possible for as long as possible. Um, and what I do is I like to focus on the area between my eyebrows. Um, that gives me, I kind of look inward and upward. I kind of forgot to do it during that uh, portion, but uh, I look inward and upward and just focus on the, um, on the spot between my eyebrows and stay there as long as possible until I feel what feels like it, it's panic. Um, what it is is it's uh, your body needs air. So you start to feel panic in your, in your stomach and that's when you, in through your nose, just take one full deep breath, fill it all the way up to the top of your chest as much as you can and I like to, when I get to the top of the, that breath, I like to squeeze as much air as possible so I'll,
and what that does is it just kind of gets a good stretch um, into your lungs and you can really feel that stretch and uh, that really helps your successive um, breath work rounds so I'm gonna demonstrate another round to you guys and uh, then we'll talk a little bit and that'll be uh, the end of the video so here we go So when I get to the end of my breathwork sessions, I definitely notice a 100% improvement in my mood, in my um, ability to think clearly. And when you combine that with uh, what Wim Hof teaches, which is the cold showers or uh, cold weather exposure, it really, um, it really trains your willpower and um, you start to notice a confidence that you never knew you had before. And it just, uh, it just over, overall, it just improves your life. Um, even if you're not a spiritual person or you don't want to do any kind of spiritual exercises or anything like that, um, or really, honestly, it's not even about spirituality. It's just more about just relaxing yourself. And this is, I would say one of the best ways to relax yourself, uh, especially if you follow the breath work session up with a meditation session afterwards. So you do your breath work first and then you do your meditation. You have an active portion and then you have a passive portion where you just find uh, your center, 
either f find some kind of thing to focus on. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what. You can focus on your heart. You can focus on the area between your eyes or a candle flame or emptiness even. Emptiness is a good way to do it. Um, and what that does is it, it puts you in alignment with source. It puts you in alignment with your higher self and the attributes of, of your higher self and um, it's just a overall great exercise to do and I highly recommend it for everybody. You don't have to do the cold water exposure. I don't do it all the time anymore. Um, I, I used to, but um, I kind of fall, I've kind of fallen out of that habit, but I think I'm gonna start doing it again uh, here soon. It's, it's, uh, it's it, it builds your willpower, I will, I will say, but uh, I just wanted to dem demonstrate for you guys the Wim Hof method, and uh, I highly recommend it um, in your morning routine or your evening routine or anywhere, anytime you have 15 to 20 minutes to do uh, three to five rounds, I recommend it 100%. So thank you guys for watching. Love you guys very much. Have a great day.